Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about storing Final Cut Pro libraries on a QNAP NAS and then opening them from the NAS. So I'll put a link in the description of my QNAP playlist where I have a bunch of other videos I've made on the QNAP. I'll also put a link for the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I've made a similar video for a Synology NAS, and with the Synology NAS, you have to set up NFS because it's not compatible with the SMB configuration on Synology, but on the QNAP, you can use uh, SMB. So to get started, I want to go into my control panel. I want to click Shared Folders. And then we can create a share. I'll just call this Final Cut Pro Projects. I'll add myself as a user, read write capabilities. Then I'll leave the rest of the settings the same. I'll hit Create. I'll click OK. Now you do want to have SMB3 on here if you've somehow change it so you're not using SMB3, you'd want to change that um, back for this. So we have Final Cut Pro projects here. I'll minimize this screen. I'll go to my finder and I'll click on go and I'll go to connect to server. I'll type SMB colon slash slash and then the IP address of the QNAP and then another slash, I'll hit connect. It's asking me for my password and now we want to choose the share. So here's the Final Cut Pro projects folder. So I'll copy a project into it. Okay, I'm going to open my movies folder back up here. So I copied over this uh, project I've been working on. And you'll see in my just movies folder, this is on my hard drive. I have this FCP cache. I created this folder here. And we'll get into that in just a minute. So I'll open up this project that's hosted on the QNAP right now. Okay, so the project is open. I filmed this at 720p. That's why everything's really condensed. I don't normally work at 720p with this. It'd be kind of cluttered. So if you click on your library on the left and you go over to the inspector and you see storage locations, if you click on modify settings and you'll see this cache here, this would normally say in library. So the best way to do this would be to um, open it on your computer and change this to something besides the library. When you go to choose, it'll let you choose what you want. So I just go to movies and then choose this FCP cache and then hit OK. So you can copy it over and then change it. But when you do, you'll uh, it will ask you if you want to move everything to the FCP cache. And then you do that, it will copy it all over. But what this is doing is this is storing the main library on the QNAP and it's storing the cache locally where you have a lot faster hard drive access. And then when I'm done with the project, I'll just delete the cache because I don't really want to store the cache long term. I typically work on a library when it's on my hard drive and move it to the NAS when I'm finished. But sometimes I have to open up a library that I've stored on the NAS, and this is a fast way to do it. So anytime I do open something up that is hosted on the NAS, I go and check that storage location for the cache because it might have changed or I might not have had it set it right in the beginning. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.